feel when you heard the news? Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, I was still in the, the West Indies with the ODI squad, so uh, it was a nice uh, wake-up message to get. What, so you, you just got it on your, on your phone? Uh, yeah, I missed the call. I was still asleep. <laughs> uh, but I had a voice note uh, from Brennan, uh, so it was, uh, it was really nice to wake up to. Did, did, just kind of reaction from your, mm. from your family and stuff like that? What was, what was that been like? Well, they were over the moon. Um, you know, my dad especially, he's um, you know, been quite involved in my cricket since young age, so um, as much as it's a dream for me, it's uh, probably more of a dream for him. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, you've had international experience with the, mm. with the one-day squad. You mentioned that in the West Indies back mm. in the last summer as, as, as well. Um, mm. how, how's, that, how's that been for you? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, obviously, I only uh, managed to get the, the one game in so far, but you know, I've really uh, enjoyed my time with, with the team, uh, getting to know the coaches, some of the players you don't really play, um, play with that often, and just sort of like... You know, trying to train as best as I can to, to show them um, you know, I can make that team, really. Did it feel different walking into an England dressing room? Uh, yeah, it does. Like, obviously, um, you play against some of the players on the county circuit, but, you know, there's still a lot, all of them, pretty much all of them, are ones you look up to still, and, you know, there's a lot of learnings from them. So, although it does feel weird, you've got to remind yourself that you're all teammates here and you're all on the same level. You soon kind of settle down and kind of relax a little bit in that environment. Yeah, you know, everyone's real nice. They, they make you feel at home and uh, talk to you and, uh, you know, make sure everything's going all right and you're getting on with everyone. So, you know, it's a very uh, relaxing environment. You said you played, obviously, like that one match. In terms of the broader experience of, of your early start at international mm. level, what else have you taken kind of from it? And, and did you go in thinking, I want to try and get something from this experience, even if it's just... Maybe the odd game or so. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I feel like technically I'm in a good place. So it's more um, trying to pick the brains of other people on tactical side. Obviously, ODI is a bit different with the fielding restrictions and obviously not playing a lot. So um, I've just been trying to get stuck in and talk to the coaches and um, you know Joss a bit as well on you know different plans and you know how we're going to go about our cricket and ODIs really. Yeah, and. When you when you look at what's coming up in January, is it is it a similar feel, a similar approach that you, you might have? Obviously, you want to play. I get that, mm. but you want to get more from the experience too, presumably. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, you know, being with Leach and obviously uh, be able to watch a lot of the Indian bowlers go about their business, sort of Aksar and Asia. So, you know, as much as I'd, I'd love to play and get a game, you know, I'm still going to be, you know, watching out, seeing how these guys go about their business, try and watch them in warm ups and. You know how they bowl in games and just sort of get a feel, and then hopefully I can uh, recreate that. And I guess chatting to people too, Tom, as well. That must, that must be a big part of it. Yeah, sort of like just the you know the lads have much open conversations with you than than sometimes you'd expect. You know that's great just to pick their brains a little bit, um, and you know they've they've got a lot to say, and you know I'm all ears really. Yeah, obviously every test call up is a significant moment, um, and. To get called up to an Indian tour is a significant tour, isn't it? As well, it, it's it's a real headline tour. How proud are you of, of, of that? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Obviously, uh, India alongside with Australia, um, you, you know, they're, they're the biggest tours you can go on, really. Um, and you know, I'm I'm grateful that you know, hopefully, the conditions will suit my sort of bowling. So, um, as much as it's it's a big team, I'm hoping the conditions will will be in my favour, really. How much experience have you had bowling in India? Uh, not a lot. We went to Lanks when I'm pre-season to Mumbai once, and uh, while we were in Abu Dhabi with the Lions, we tried to recreate, um, you know, the conditions out there. And you know, when we get out there, we'll find how similar they were. Um, but I think for me, it's just about firing it in. You know, almost kind of like white ball bowling, almost just that bit fuller, um, and just trying to fire it in on the stumps, really. Yeah, I've spoken in the past about this, and. Mm. You, obviously, you're a tall lad. That, that, mm. I guess, does that help you in, when it comes to the red ball cricket? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think with the bounce I can get, um, and you know the sort of angles I can play with a bit more. I sort of don't really have to give it much fight. I can almost fire it in. Um, I let the ball and the pitch do the work. So um, that's what I'm going to hope for, really, and just try and keep it simple. You've come a long way pretty quickly, haven't you? Do, do, do you kind of take a little bit of stock about this? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Obviously, like it's it's a long way. I think I only signed in 2019, so um, yeah, it is a long way. But you know, I feel um, I feel like I've come on a lot, and I've I've listened to what coaches and other players have had to say. So 
Um, as much as it's come on fast, I feel, I feel ready for it. Okay, so it's not kind of taking you by surprise then? Uh, well, I th yeah, obviously it has taken me by surprise a bit, but um, I still feel like, um, you know, the way I bowl to some of these players, I feel um, like I can compete with them when I don't feel like they get on top of me. So um, I feel like I've got a good chance of competing. And your desire to play test cricket mm. as well? I mean, you predominantly played a lot of white ball cricket, haven't mm. you? Is that, as a kid growing up, something that you always aspired to be, a test match cricketer? I think so. I think pretty much everyone does. I think just... Just the way it landed, uh, I, I was naturally a little bit better at a younger age at white ball cricket and that's just the way it was and obviously the, the Lancashire team has been a hard team to, to get into really red ball wise so um, obviously it, it's just not allowed me to play as much but that's not stopped my enjoyment from the red ball cricket so yeah. And I guess this particular England team at the minute is a team that it, it, everyone wants to play in. I guess. Yeah, well, I saw glimpses of it out in Abu Dhabi. Um, you know, the training looked pretty fun um, and, you know, it's the, the lads were having a laugh all the time. So, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. And one aspect of your game clearly is your batting as well. Uh, again, in this particular England testing, mm -hmm. how beneficial could that be if, if you're called upon? You've clearly shown that you can, you can bat. Yeah, I feel like the way I naturally bat is the style they're looking out for. So, um, it's not much I really have to change. I think... Um, a lot of the lads play with a lot of freedom and I you know, tend to err on that side, the aggressive side of it. So um, you know, it shouldn't be too much of a change for me. Um, just to bring it back to Lags, mm. Tom, um, next season is Nathan Lyon going to be here? I mean, mm. uh, what, what, uh, what do you think when you heard that news? Well, no, I was, I was amazed. Um, you know, I found it fantastic. You know, um, he's a great player. I obviously watched him in the Ashes last year. He did really well. Um, so I'm just hoping we can play alongside each other and um, if not, I can take a lot of learnings from him. There's a lot of players at, the, at this club and you'll have played with some already and some in the dressing room talk mm -hmm. about the benefit of having a really good overseas player for mm -hmm. a long period of time at the club. He's here for the whole summer, which is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, he can really settle in and you know, get to know the lads really well and we'll get to know him. And you know, It's a long period to be out here, so um, I'm sure we'll make him feel welcome and, you know, I think everyone in the change rooms can take a lot from him with, with the experience he's had at international level. And a new head coach as well for, for, for next, next season. I'm just looking forward to, to working with Dale. Yeah, no, over the moon. He was, he was over here in 2021 um, and he did like a, more of like a batting consultancy. So um, did a bit of work with him, really enjoyed it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to him coming back. I guess everyone starts afresh, don't they, when, when there's a new, a new coach in town? Yeah, I think so. Everyone will be looking to get in his eye and uh, impress. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to them to coming in, really. Cheers, Tom.